Hi everyone, this is Ethan Dre with Be Creative Studios Video Tutorials. Today we're going to touch base on compositions and kind of what they are within After Effects. We're going to learn how to create new compositions, how to open compositions, we're going to talk about what compositions are made up of, and viewing compositions in the composition window. First, what is a composition? Essentially a composition in After Effects is similar to a stage in a theater. It's where you're setting everything up, uh, where you're directing everything to go, and you can view what is going on within that composition as it's happening. So first let's go over creating a new composition. Alright, so to create a new composition, you're just going to go up to your menu bar in After Effects and you're going to go to Composition, and you're going to go to New Composition. The keyboard shortcut is Command N. After you click on New Composition, notice that we can select our settings for that composition. First we can name this composition, we'll just name it New Composition for right now. Uh, we have different presets here. Now it depends on what you are animating for or what you're editing for. Right now we're just going to stick to HDTV 1080p. So you'll notice that's going to set the width to 1920 and the height to 1080 pixels and we have our aspect ratio locked. That way if we increase the size, it's going to keep that ratio the same. So our pixel aspect ratio is going to be square pixels as well. That's going to enable the HD for your work. Our frame rate is going to be set to 29.97 frames per second. And our resolution is going to be full. Now notice you can also set the duration of your composition. This is going to be how long it is and it starts with frames all the way to the right and then we have seconds, minutes, and hours. And then we also have our background color that you can choose. This isn't going to be a layer within your composition, it's just going to be the color that you're working over top of within your composition. Okay, so we're just going to hit OK and notice that it opens up our new composition after we create it. To open a composition that's already created within our project window, all you're going to do is double click that composition. And whenever you do that, it opens up a tab within the timeline that shows you everything within that composition. Obviously, we don't have any layers within this composition because we just created it, uh, and we haven't imported anything into that composition. So as you can see, compositions are made up of layers and other compositions. This can be referred to as nesting compositions. So we open these compositions the same way we would out of the project window. We're just going to double click and then it opens up that composition and it shows us what is inside of it. Okay, so we'll open up one more. And now we've opened up the composition that maintains the separate layers for our character. And notice whenever you open up a composition, we have a visual preview in our composition window, okay, of all the different layers and or compositions that are nested inside of that one composition. Now if you want to rename a composition or layer, all you're going to do is select that layer and hit enter or return. This is going to allow you to be a lot more organized and it's going to allow you to know what's in each composition or what's on each layer. As I mentioned before, we have our composition window, which is more or less a visual preview of what is within our composition. And we also have these settings at the bottom. And this is going to allow us to zoom in and zoom out. This is the magnification of your composition. All right, giving you a closer view of what's going on. We also have our title and action safe grid. This is going to allow you to know where you should be keeping your text and your graphics. So typically you want to keep your graphics within the outer box and your text within the inner box. We also have our go to time. So I could type in 3 and 23 frames. So that's going to take us to 3 seconds and 23 frames. And it just moves the scrubber to that location on your timeline. Okay, we have the RGB right here. Uh, this is just your different channels that you're working in. To the right of RGB in our channels, we have a resolution. You can set it to auto and it will automatically adjust as you work. Uh, full, half, third, quarter. Now keep in mind, 
the lower the resolution, the quicker your preview is going to be. And the higher the resolution, the slower your preview is going to be. And to the right of that, we have toggle transparency grid. As I mentioned before, when you create a new composition, you have that option for the background color, but it's not actually a layer. Okay, that's just the color that you're working over top of. We have our 3D options here, which we'll be reviewing in later tutorials. And this is really important. We have our fast preview. As I mentioned before, the higher the quality, the slower the preview is going to be. So you can either keep that off and view it in final quality, or you can go to adaptive resolution. Now typically what this is going to do is it's going to down the resolution to speed up the final preview. Okay, so you might see a little bit drop in quality as you're working and moving layers around. But once those layers go to a standstill, it sets to your final preview or your final quality. Okay, so today we talked about what compositions consist of, uh, layers and other compositions. We talked about our composition window and how it is a visual preview. We learned how to create new compositions and reviewed all of the different settings. We went over renaming compositions and layers. And we went over the different settings at the bottom of the composition window. This is Ethan Dre with Be Creative Studios Video Tutorials. I want to thank you for watching. Please check back for our latest tutorials.